guys, what's going on? It's your man Kels and welcome back to another tutorial video on how to use Sony Vegas. I have already made a couple of these videos in the past. However, they were a little bit too lengthy and um, I really didn't get to a valid point until about six, seven, eight minutes into the video. So I'm going to try to make this one very, very brief and quick and get to the point on how to actually render your videos and get them up on YouTube quick. So let's get into it. First thing first is let's open Sony Vegas. As you can see, mine's already open and I'm pretty sure you know how to open yours. So we're going to, I'll actually delete this. We're going to open our video folder. Wherever your video folder is, go to it, grab your video that you want, double click it and bring it into Sony Vegas. I will actually, you know what? Let me grab a little bit longer video. I don't know what that might be. We'll just choose this one. Okay. Fine, it doesn't really matter. So you bring your video in, first thing you're gonna do is move it. First thing you wanna do is move it all the way over to the beginning of the track, okay? Because sometimes it can land here. Technically, wherever this black line is, that's where your track will land. So just to give an example, if I click it over there and you do move that line by left clicking, it will move. And we'll get into that in another video on how to actually uh, do cut commentaries and slice and dice your videos, add transitions, all that good stuff. So if I add another video, it will most likely run to that line, just like that, okay? So wherever that line is, that's where your video and that's how your video comes in. So let's just assume this is a very long video, <clears throat> but to be honest with you, these videos are annoying me, so let me just grab another video. Ah, there we go, something of substance. So, very first thing you notice is the preview window is extremely blurry. Everything in this game is very, very blurry. So, in order to change this, this is a little setting. I don't know why, I do not know the answer to it. Um, if somebody does and they want to comment, that's fabulous, but I don't have the answer, nor do I really care. So, first thing you need to do to get rid of that is right click on the actual video track, go up to switches, scroll down to disable resample, and once I hit this, you will see how that video is going to, voila, clear up perfectly. So now it looks exactly like the gameplay would look in game, okay? And if we play this out, dead all right so we're gonna leave it at that so now we got our video let's assume we already edited the video we sliced and diced the video again we will get into all of all that in another video actually the next video coming out in a couple days um i will go over cut commentaries because that's something i actually like to do and cut commentaries is for example taking a session out a uh, section out of your your commentary for example let's say right here you let's say this right here is a sneeze for example it's like oh my god i just sneezed in my video it's destroyed no we're just going to zoom all the way into that little segment of audio and we're going to take it out delete it and pull this back together if you come up here to the top this little symbol right here which is auto ripple and check that when you cut something out it will snap together okay or it'll snap back to where the cut line is so <clears throat> anyways let's get into it um we have our video we disabled um switches and disabled resampling very very important now we need to render the video so the video is done it's all ready we got our commentary we got some music in here again i'm not going to get too in depth but if we were to add music um i'm going to save that for a second video this video is just to point out how to render what are the best render settings i myself have searched youtube time and time and time and time again well, technically for the last year you could probably say Searching YouTube best Sony Vegas render settings and there are so many different opinions and so many different views and I've used them all and they all have not worked for me. So what has worked for me and another thing that I've learned which we'll go over in a minute. So I already made a template here earlier because I already re record I already recorded this video and it came out a little bit too long and I wasn't happy with that. I'm trying to make this short. 
So my template that I already made is 1920 by 1080, 60 frames a second, um, four reference frames, by default it is two, deblocking filter checked, two pass unchecked, maximum and average bit rates are 50 million each. Now there are many, many people that are going to say that 50 million and 50 million is excess. However, when I drop these down to anything lower, say like 10 and drop this down to 15 or even 14, which have been quite a few people making those recommendations, the video quality, the gameplay is not going to look like it does when you're actually playing the game. 50 million, 50 million is high. It makes your file size a lot bigger, but when you render it and upload it to YouTube, after YouTube's compression, what you'll be seeing on the screen will look exactly like it does right here in Sony Vegas and while you're actually playing the game. So jot down all these settings, record them, pause the video, write them down, let's move on. Second step or third step, last step, is to title the video. Whatever you name this video will be the video. If you don't do anything with on YouTube, for example, you render this video, you upload it, you click publish, and that's it. You don't add a description, a title, or nothing. Whatever you type in here will be your actual um, YouTube video. So it does help to add a proper uh, title because the title is still going to be in the metadata of the actual video clip you upload. Even though when you upload it, you can still change the title of your video in the description and all that, the whatever you type in here is still embedded in the video somewhere. So it's a lot better to, instead of saying um, Mike's um, video four, like that doesn't make any sense. So you want to title it something, you know, best black ops three commentary something something right okay it just helps a lot with your views and and things like that little tiny a little tiny tip now we got our video titled uh we got our render settings set up we customize them all and also up here you can also uh, rename this as you can see mine's is already my youtube settings but you can call it whatever you want you can call it john's um, gaming settings okay hit enter now you have a template called John's gaming settings example and we're going to hit render now unfortunately because I'm actually uh, recording if I hit render it's going to distort the recording but I will pause for a second just so you can see what it looks like Now, if you pay attention to that render video, the, the, the window where it shows you the estimated time left, that is actually climbing. The clock on that's going up, 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 up. And then the time elapsed is how long it's actually been rendering. So when the video finishes rendering, a, you can look at uh, time lapsed and it will show you how long it actually took to render that video. But while it's rendering immediately and it's trying to, it's basically, here's what's happening in a nutshell. <clears throat> I give you a, a short example. It's kind of like you're handing Sony Vegas a puzzle, and Sony Vegas has to put the puzzle together, it has to put all the pieces together, figure out everything, what it's going to do with all these pieces, and then once it puts the puzzle together, then you get a nice, smooth countdown clock on the estimated time remaining. So don't be thrown off when it says um, estimated time remaining, and it's and it's climbing or it starts to slow down and it's dropping down and it says example 32 minutes 59 seconds and then you come back you know you look at it a minute later and it's back up to 34 34 minutes for example that is perfectly normal um, it's just how Sony Vegas is working it's working it's doing its thing so it takes about a good five minutes before it actually settles down and makes a perfectly uh, count a perfect countdown clock okay so that's pretty much it that's how you render those are the render settings you need to use if you're using gameplay in my next video I'll talk about uh, more of a desktop recording like I'm doing here and the type of render settings that you don't need and do need to render something like that because they're totally different rendering black ops as opposed to rendering minecraft or league of legends as opposed to rendering something like i'm rendering here on this video which is basically recording my desktop 
Um, I don't need 60 frames a second. I can get away with 30, uh, et cetera, et cetera, so on, so on. So look out for the next video, and I will go into all that in depth. Until the next time, it's your man Kells. Peace.